Hey everybody, I'm back. And I have a beard. Still. Shave it up! I'm back! Yay! The crowd goes wild. Okay. <laughs> so, if you've been around my channel at all, you know that I've been gone for about a month. And uh, I wanted to talk about why. Another thing, I am going to be doing a giveaway with this video. At the end of the video, I'll tell you what you need to do in order to take part of that giveaway. So, a few things actually. Uh, first thing being that really I just needed to take some time off. Uh, every now and then, I mean, look, this becomes like a second job almost. It's fun and I enjoy it and it's certainly part time and I don't make much money doing this, but I still just needed some time off from videos. And so I decided to take a short sabbatical for about a month and really just enjoy my summer, enjoy being with my family. And I had some other things going on that uh, really just kept me so busy that I didn't have time to commit to uh, to running a YouTube channel for a month. And so I decided to take that time off. So thank you everybody for being patient with me. Uh, your support has not gone unnoticed. I really appreciate it. So a few reasons why I was gone. Uh, first was that I had a family reunion like right at the beginning of actually end of June, beginning of July, which man, I know my, my family, for instance, is huge, really, really huge. And it was a a uh, big production, getting everybody there, and really stressful. And I mean, we had fun, but it was also difficult. And so we decided to, you know, go ahead and make the most of that. We took some time off for that. Uh, many of you also know, and one of the big reasons why I started growing a beard, I decided to go on a what's called a pioneer trek. Uh, this was actually to commemorate the Martin and Willie handcart companies that settled uh, in the state of Utah. And uh, you can check out the, the more about the story of them right here. I'm not going to go into a lot of the details, but this is a great video that uh, you can check out more of the story. Very, very uh, inspiring uh, people that were very committed to their faith and to their cause and decided to travel across the country, across the ocean and across the country because of their faith. And uh, as a part of that trek, my wife and I, got invited to be a ma and pa uh, for that journey. And it was aimed at helping the youth of our church to understand and more appreciate the pioneer heritage that we have. And it was a magnificent experience, absolutely wonderful. Um, you know, we had a family of eight kids, <laughs> all between the ages of 14 and 18. And, uh, and we had a couple of adults that helped us as an aunt and uncle. And we just had a marvelous experience. It really was wonderful. and I can't say enough about it. I absolutely loved it. So when we were getting ready for that, um, my wife kind of nudged me and said, Hey, you should, you should grow a beard because it'd be more authentic. Right. And so I said, okay, I'll grow a beard. And so I started growing a beard. Well, come to, uh, you know, a few months later, it was, I had about six weeks, uh, to start growing the beard. And so it started coming in pretty well. And well, I'll get into why I still have the beard here in just a little bit. So that was middle of July. Last week, I actually just got back from another trip uh, with some youth from my church. Uh, this time it was just boys. And uh, we went up into the high Uinta Mountains. And I'll show you a couple pictures here on the side. Uh, we went to a place called Red Castle Lake, which it's settled at about 11,000 feet, which is way up there for a lot of you flatlanders. <laughs> it's not that far up there for, for me. I live in the mountains. But uh, it, it was a 10 mile hike in with backpacks and fishing poles and all kinds of stuff. And we just roughed it for uh, four days. Uh, we went up on a Wednesday and came back on a Saturday. And it was just a, a wonderful experience. Um, and, and by the way, when I was up there, you know, I, I love fishing. It's, it's one of my other hobbies when I have time to do it. Um, when I was up there, it was actually right during the cutthroat trout spawn. And so one of the really cool things was that uh, so Red Castle Lake has a lower lake, a middle lake, and an upper lake, and they're separated by you know about a mile in between each of them, and they actually go up in elevation. So we camped at the lower lake, which is about eleven thousand feet, 
and we went up to the middle lake, which is about 11.5. And just below the middle lake, there was this little stream and waterfall area that the water was probably that deep and tons of rocks and stuff. And the fish were actually spawning in there. And it was so cool because we could actually go and reach into the river, pick up a fish and take it home. <laughs> and, and that was our dinner. And it was the most fantastic trout I've ever had in my life. Granted, we were really hungry, but it was an awesome experience. The boys had a great time, aside from being really, really tired. <laughs> I brought them back and we didn't get back until like 1030 at night and they were exhausted, but we had a great time. So that, that and work and family and all that stuff going on just really ate up my July. And so I appreciate you guys being, uh, being patient with me and not putting a video up for about a month or so. It really means a lot to me that I was able to take that time off and focus on my family, focus on my, uh, my responsibilities in my church and really enjoy that time off. So thank you everybody. Now I want to address something that I've been getting some flack for. <laughs> uh, obviously I have something growing on my face. Uh, I like to refer to it as my man mane, but it is a beard <laughs> and uh, I've been catching some flack because, well, my screen name is The Clean Shaver. And I wanted to discuss how I came up with that name and why I'm still The Clean Shaver, even though I have a beard. Okay. So originally at the, at the get-go, when I started this channel, there were YouTube channels popping up all over the place. And uh, I mean, there still are, but uh, shaving YouTubers, it kind of became a cool thing to do as this, uh, as this hobby gained popularity. And when I started out, I felt like there was a lot of, there were a lot of channels that were aimed at guys, just, you know, men's men kind of a thing. And I wanted to set myself apart just a little bit. Not that I'm not a man's man because I enjoy doing manly stuff, but I wanted to set myself apart a little bit and make it more of a uh, family oriented, family friendly uh, environment. And so to set myself apart from that, I said to myself, you know what? No cussing, no uh, off color topics, um, no crude jokes, and really just keep it uplifting and keep it clean. And so that's why the name, the moniker Clean Shaver came about. Uh, I, I thought about it for several days actually, why, what my name would be when I started everything out. And that's the name I came up with. So to me, there's more to being the clean shaver than being clean shaven. Uh, I still shave, obviously. I shave my head, I shave my neck, I shave my cheeks, and I'm enjoying having a beard. And it's more to me about my beard does not define me, okay? And I'm trying to, uh, trying to break down some stereotypes with it as well because people that know me know the kind of person that I am. And a beard shouldn't change that. It shouldn't change how people perceive me. And I can live a clean shaver life, a clean life, so to speak, with, with or without facial hair. And so that was kind of uh, one of the things that I more or less set out to prove is that you can enjoy this hobby, you can be a part of this community and still keep it family friendly, still keep it uh, uplifting, still be one of the guys, still be an active part of the community but I just wanted to set myself apart a little bit. Any of my other uh, YouTube wet shaver comrades, they're all great guys. I've met many of them and I appreciate them as people, as, as stand up guys, good, good people. I mean, my channel wouldn't be anywhere close to where it is without them, but I wanted to set myself apart from some of the other stuff that was going on. And so I decided on the moniker, the clean shaver. Now, on to having a beard, why I still have this thing on my face. And there's a few reasons. So I mentioned before, I kind of wanted to prove that I can still be who I am, even though I have a beard and I can still be the clean shaver, even with a beard. And I think I'm trying to do that. Um, other reasons why I have the beard first and foremost, the most important, my wife likes it. <laughs> so she digs the beard and, uh, until she tells me otherwise, I think I'm going to hang on to it for a little while. Um, that and I get to try new products. I mean, 
as a as a bald guy, I don't get to try shampoos and other cleansers of sorts that other guys get to try. I mean, do you know how long it's been since I've had to use a comb? Like 10 years or more. I haven't used one since I was probably 19. That's how long it's been. Um, it's cool for me to be able to try this different genre of grooming products like beard oils, uh, beard balms, and shampoos and all that kind of stuff. And I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it, it's refreshing for me and it, it helps to add some variety to my daily life, which life at work and whatnot, that can get a little slow sometimes. And so it, it helps me to stay sane. <laughs> um, I'm really enjoying it though. And it's, it's kind of fun for me to get a look at the other side. And so it won't last forever. I'm sure it won't last forever. I'm sure that Eventually down the road, this thing's going to come off and I'm, I'm going to be clean shaven again. Uh, but for now, I am enjoying having the beard, even though it's really hot outside. <laughs> uh, but I am enjoying it. So anybody that's asking, sure, go ahead and tell me that I can't be the clean shaver with a beard. You're not me. <laughs> no offense, but you're not me. It's my face. I can do what I want with it. Yeah? Okay. Anyway, uh, another uh, quick thing, I just wanted to make an announcement. So I'm going to do my best to make sure that this is a more regular channel for people. Uh, I'm going to be posting videos every Friday morning. Every Friday morning, you can count on a video from The Clean Shaver, uh, whether I filmed it Thursday night or Monday night, it doesn't matter. It's going to be every Friday morning and I'm going to be alternating between product reviews and videos that are just for fun because Honestly, I get a little sick of just doing product reviews and I think everybody else does as well. It, it's just, it adds a little variety for me and it helps again, keep me sane. I like variety in my life. There's enough of my life that is scheduled out and unchangeable that I like having a little bit of variety in there. Okay, so it's giveaway time. Yay! All right, I've been waiting a little while to do this one actually. I've been gifted a couple bottles of Oscar's oil and it's a pre-shave oil. It can also be used as a beard oil, just so you know, if, in case any of you are wondering. Now, I've been using their signature scent for a while and typically I'm not a big fan of beard oils. Uh, I found that some beard oils, at least a lot of them that I've tried in the past, really kill my lather, but this doesn't, it really doesn't. Uh, it it's, adds a nice slickness, it adds an extra degree of protection for when you're really trying to mow down a lot of growth, or it hasn't been that long since your last shave and you might feel a little bit more sensitive, pre-shave oil can help that. Now this Oscars oil, they gave me two extra bottles and they are scents that I'm generally not a fan of, but I asked them to give me all three scents and I'll try the signature and then pass on the other two. So I have sandalwood and lavender. So what we're gonna do is I am going to request that in order to take part of this giveaway, you're gonna have to do three things. You're going to have to follow me on Instagram, follow Oscar's Oil on Instagram, and then comment down below when you've done that. Now, this drawing is going to be short. It's only going to be a week long. I'm going to announce the winners next week on my video on Friday. So get to it. Okay. Sound good? All right. Awesome. As always, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate your support of my channel. Thank you for letting me take a short break and I'm excited to be back. I've got a lot of ideas about new videos and new products and all kinds of stuff that I want to do. So keep an eye out for my, for my videos coming every Friday morning, week after week. Okay, plan on it. Thanks for everybody for watching. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google+, uh, Snapchat. It's all down in the description below. And make sure you also check out Oscar's Oil. I'll put a link in the uh, description down below to their website and a link to their Instagram page as well so you can find them real quickly and make sure that you follow them, okay? Thanks everybody for watching. Be smooth, shave it up. We'll see you next time.